Hi makeup loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see, today's tutorial is going to be on this Coachella Vibes makeup look. So if you're interested, please make sure to keep watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup tutorials. Make sure you give it a like. Comment down below what you would like Thank to see watching. next. Okay guys, so since this look is focusing more on the eyes, I already went ahead and did my brows and I already primed my eyelids. I did that with the concealer, this look. So this is the Coachella look that we're doing. Um, I'm gonna show you when to stop if you don't wanna add the rhinestones on your face, if you don't wanna go that dramatic. I'm gonna let you know. We're gonna get started with this shade right here. We're going to go with the blending brush and we're going to start again on the lid. We're going to start on the corner and make our way into the lid. So just back and forth, same routine. This time we're going to go all the way on the corner of your eyelid. Because we're gonna we want this to be dramatic since we are doing a Coachella look, we want this to be super dramatic. So a lot of people like the eyeshadow for my Coachella look. So I was like, let's go ahead and do this. By the time you see this video, Coachella Weekend 1 has passed by. What you guys think of Beyonce? Oh my god. I got the chills. I was like... You go, girl. I really like Cardi B as well. But there wasn't nothing like Beyonce. She is amazing. I've seen her in concert and she is amazing. Okay, so we're gonna just keep blending and blending all the way outside don't be scared if you get more down here because we're just going to clean it but we want to make sure we go all the way okay so just keep on blending totally forgot i had the tv on so i had to go turn it off get me some water because i am thirsty I'm trying to drink all the water Okay, the next thing we're gonna go with the next shade so it's gonna be this one right here guys I've been using this palette I just I've been trying to not use one palette every day different palettes every day I'm trying to do different looks with the same palette just so that you know I get my money's worth and also you know so that you guys can see all the different kinds of looks that you can go for with the palette it's just sometimes you forget you know like that you have a palette and then you go on to the next one and you're like oh my god and then you don't want to leave that palette it's just makeup it is an addiction and I gotta say I love makeup okay. I use the same blending brush this is how the blending brush look and again just okay and then I'm gonna go with a different brush this is the Morphe G 17 this is how it looks we're gonna go with the darker shade so we're gonna go with this one right here and we're gonna go as the same do the same step just to intensify the look we are gonna go, go with a darker color and then we're gonna cut the crease what do you guys um, think about cut creases do you guys like it hate it I don't like it but I don't hate it I just rather do a simple eyeshadow look than cutting the crease. It's fun, but sometimes it's like 
really like you don't want to cut the crease all the time okay and then whatever if you feel like you need blending if you need to go back to the color that you originally started just go back and forth just to blend everything out but don't worry everything will come out great at the end once you have your lashes everything your foundation like everything will come back to life okay once we are done with this we're gonna go i'm gonna use the same brush the g17 and we're gonna go with this two colors right here because we want to intensify the look so again we just go ahead and start in the corner and we're actually just gonna go on the corner here just pack it all in just pack it all in why because we're gonna do a half cut crease so it doesn't really make sense to do your whole lid and then cut the crease it just doesn't make any sense at all just pack it all in and then what you're gonna do is tap off the excess and then just sweep the color into the middle that way it could transition that way it has a nice blend so you can see versus this one so I found out what my camera has so when it fell everything was fine nothing broke but it's internal so I have to get that fixed so until I get that fixed I'm gonna still be using my phone so I apologize um, this is gonna be a regular basic channel it's not gonna be all fancy or anything just to let you guys know but if you enjoy this type of regular get ready with me give this video a thumbs up okay so as you can see i've been adding a little more just patting it and then just tap the excess as you can see it or you could just and then gradually just with your brush towards the middle just so that it could blend in then now we are gonna go on top blend that on top here As you can see we are gonna blend that part same here Then, there we go, blending. Done with the eyes, so what we're gonna do is cut the crease. So you can use any concealer that you like. I'm gonna use this Shape Tape. This one is in light sand, but it looks way lighter. Just gonna put it on the back of my hand you're gonna have you're gonna grab uh any straight brush that looks like this this is a morphe brush it's straight so we're just gonna grab a little bit and then we're gonna start so let me see if i could put you guys a little closer okay so we're gonna start i like tapping it and then kind of Concentrate here. This is like when you apply your eyeliner, you don't want to mess it up. And we're just going to do a half, half cut crease because we want the dark shade to show.
and then once you have the cut crease what I like to do is go in with my finger and then just tap tap it so that it could so that it doesn't look and then I go on the corner there you go let me just take the excess on, on this side off now we're gonna do the other eye Now that we have the cut crease just easy i hope you guys learn a little something from that now we're gonna go with that beautiful color that we added on the lid so it's gonna be this like emerald green color is that i hope that's what the color is i'm bad with naming stuff and i'm gonna go with the flat brush so this is a morphe and it's kind of angled so we're gonna go on the lid we're gonna press it press it. now you don't want to swipe it just because you might take off the concealer it might rub rub off can't talk I can never talk see how beautiful that is now camera sometimes doesn't do justice with the color. How beautiful. Now that we have all that we're gonna go with the foundation and we're gonna go with the concealer so I'm gonna go with my shape tape this one is in light medium and I'm gonna go with my trusty Neutrogena skin clearing oil free makeup I've been using this a lot so far I haven't broken out or anything um, the only thing that I have is my acne marks and my red spots um, which that I'm already taking care of um, but so far haven't had a pimple pop out yet so these are my trusty so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up So we're going to apply the Clinique High Impact. I'm going to apply it on top. Okay, so while we let 
like our eyes big and everything um and the eyelash to get tacky we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom lash we're gonna do the same um we're gonna go with this color right here start with this one and then we're gonna go with this color right here and then we're gonna go with this color Okay, now for to highlight the inner corners we're gonna go with this two right here and this is a uh, BH cosmetics it's gonna go highlight the inner corner we are gonna go with the NYX this is the natural retractable liner and we're gonna go with Maybelline this is the final look so on the next video you'll see that i change my clothes i'll be in a different room but i'll be showing you how i apply my rhinestones and my hair how i did my hair so thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you guys on my next video and let's speed it up So this is the final look 
so Coachella ready which I am not going but if you are going to Coachella make sure to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you're going to Coachella have fun make sure you stay hydrated make sure you put lots of sunscreen so this is Coachella vibes hope you guys really enjoyed this video make sure you